Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Slightly different video today. I've had some interactions in my life recently which have provoked me into making a video kind of like this one. For those that have been around, you know that I'm not full time in crypto. I actually work in financial services and I'm a qualified financial planner. Crypto, this channel and my community is what I work on heavily in my own time, be it any spare time I have whilst I'm at the day job or after, at least for the time being. In my line of work, it's centered around providing bespoke solutions for individual and corporate clients, be it retirement planning, investment planning, or tax planning. We advise on many different types of investment products, which include ISAs in the UK, which are similar to Roth IRAs in the US, or pensions, which are 401ks, I believe. When the clients invest in these products, it's typically stock market linked. So mutual funds, equities, bonds, you can get it linked to the S&P 500, etc. Perhaps for this reason, within my industry and in the UK at the least, no one really seems to discuss or care about crypto. Obviously, we know that times are changing. We've seen events this year such as the approval of spot ETFs for both Bitcoin and Ethereum, and with more rumour to be on the way in the future. This increase in regulation and accessibility naturally will bring in more investors. There will be many people who would wish to allocate portions of their portfolios to these alternative asset classes and asset managers will be scrambling to make sure that they can offer these products or risk losing customers to competitors. So overall, the future is very, very bright. Whilst all of this is on the horizon, from my own personal experience, it's still viewed pretty negatively in the real world, and especially in the traditional financial sector. I regularly hear statements from colleagues and others, both experienced and new, along the lines of, isn't it just for criminals? Or, I heard it's not safe. There's still a lot of stigma with crypto investors and on one hand, rightfully so, we haven't always covered ourselves in glory. But one question which I've been asked multiple times now and which stood out to me was, why would you invest in crypto? In my head instantly I thought, why not? Of course that's not a good answer and to me it's so glaringly obvious, I've been here over 5 years so it seems almost second nature to me. You can have those that wish to be part of the changing movement, you know, newer technology, wishing to get involved in the space, change the world, have sovereignty over their finances, all of that. But honestly, and it may seem obvious, it comes down to one reason and that's the astronomical returns it offers us. Let's take a look at two examples. We've got Guy1 and Guy2. I know, creative, right? These are just for illustrative purposes. I haven't gone too detailed into these examples, but I'm just trying to highlight the sheer difference in returns and what crypto can allow us to do. There'll be many of you watching right now who haven't really been exposed to any sort of financial modeling and some different perspective should always be appreciated. Also, these are rough figures. Different calculators online were giving slightly differing results, but the overall point can still be made. So we got Guy1. He's got a retirement scheme with his company and he's got around 30 years until his retirement. Let's say he's contributing around $500 a month into this scheme and let's assume a market average return of 10% as that is what the S&P 500 has apparently produced since its inception in 1957, not accounting for inflation. Also, 10% a year on average is pretty good. If you're hitting this consistently across your investments, congrats to you. I realistically would have put this at around 5-7% to from what I've seen personally with clients, but I digress. After 30 years, Guy One's pot is worth $1.1 million. Impressive, right? Well, when you factor in that he contributed a total $180,000 over this period and his overall profit is $960k, is it that impressive? That's a return of 533% or 6.33x over a time frame of 30 years, not accounting for inflation. So the purchasing power of that one mil after 30 years will be more like 678k assuming a 2.5% inflation rate per annum. I want to pose to you the question, is it still impressive to you when you put it like that? 30 years of your life to earn a return of 6x. For most people, this will be their only fund in retirement too. They expect to work, build up their pension or whatever, then rely on that as well as the government to fund their life until they die. There are people within this crypto space pulling a 5x on a monthly basis, not over almost a third of a century. So it's difficult to do an exact like for like comparison as we aren't investing for 30 years here, but I'll try my best. Guy 2 invests in crypto. In my opinion, we have around 12 to 18 months left in this cycle to see explosive returns. So we're going to make that assumption. He also has the same allowance, $500 a month. Granted, we will not be comparing over a 30 year time period, like I already said, but that's because we don't need to. We can make better returns on his money in a matter of months. Let's assume he watches YouTubers such as myself. He's in discords like mine, in various communities like the CWM community. He's constantly on crypto Twitter, always doing research, so he's doing all things right. 
Again, there's numerous strategies that he can play, but let's say he picks a couple projects, invests wisely, buys dips, has strong conviction. If there's $500 coming in regularly a month, he ends up 10xing his overall investment, which after 12 months is 6k into 60k. It could also be 18 months and instead it reaches 90,000. Now, I know this isn't exactly a fair test, but we aren't compounding for 30 years. We have to be a bit more active in crypto, but I keep saying this, all you need is one project in this space to go well for you and your financial situation can change forever. And again, numbers wise, it's not exactly comparable to a million, but look at the time difference. This is 12 to 18 months netting a 900% return on his capital and he can access the money now. And then if he's wise with that, he can compound it, grow it, invest it, etc. buy that nice car, get rid of that mortgage, whatever. We can negate inflation over this period as well as it's 12 to 18 months, but if not, just reduce it by two and a half percent. Obviously, the risk is he doesn't choose the right projects or doesn't take profits correctly. However, we are limiting these risks and increasing our probability of winning this cycle by following and asking for advice from guys such as myself. Sticking to the example, analyze the opportunity cost. The opportunity cost of losing 6 to 9k over the next 12 to 18 months versus potentially making upwards of 50 to 100 grand. Also, I want you guys to ask yourselves, are you guy one or guy two? There's nothing wrong with either answer. If you wish to play it safe, then by all means go for it. This is simply an answer to the question, why invest in crypto? Very quickly, you can switch from being a guy two into a guy one after if you wish. Just to visualize the difference it can make and keeping it consistent with the example, if you decide to play it safe after and still contribute into your retirement scheme, except now with the massive capital sum you just generated, you are saving seven or nine years to reach the same goal, effectively retiring seven or nine years sooner. Feel free to adjust this for your own circumstances. Again, to reiterate, I'm not saying that crypto isn't risky. Far from it. And whether it's for you and how much you can get involved is contingent on many things. Here are some factors. The younger you are, the more you can risk. Your job or disposable income you have too. Living circumstances. Are you living at home with parents or renting? Or do you have debts such as mortgages or car loans? Do you have people who depend on you? You know, children, parents, siblings, friends. And also your expected returns. Do you want a 2x? If so, buy a Bitcoin. If you want a thousand x, DJ into some Solana memes. Going back to it, the interactions that I've been having shows me that we are still ridiculously early. I know sometimes it might not feel like it. You know, we stay on this side of YouTube or on crypto Twitter or in Discord servers and it feels like everyone's buying crypto. Everyone seems to know how strong AI is going to be or which games are going to pump or how mainstream adoption is coming, the results of ETFs, you know, all of that. But honestly, it's a bubble. And when you step into the real world and step outside of this crypto bubble that we're in, we are still a long, long way away from mass retail interest and understanding of crypto. Another point I'm trying to get across, and I apologize for the cliche, but you should give yourself some credit for being ahead of the masses. You took the time to learn about these markets. You took the time to read white papers. You took the time to watch hours and hours of content on YouTube to understand cycles, narratives. You felt the pain of investing in the wrong projects, seeing your portfolio balance completely capitulate, then picked yourself up and went again, only this time better. Of course, the job's not done, but you've laid some solid foundations. At the end of the day, for the majority of you, your efforts and feeling of accomplishment will be based on a monetary value, how much money you make here. For investors, that is the end goal. And in all honesty, if you're here on my channel and similar channels too, you're in the right place. Other YouTubers, predominantly the larger channels, won't be providing the unbiased, unfiltered approach that I will. I don't have any ulterior motives. I have no appearances that I need to keep up. I'm just a genuine guy trying to help out my community and everyone else as much as I can. Final message for today's video. Do I believe that this bull cycle is the last one that we'll see? Remember, this is just my opinion. No, I don't believe it's the last. However, I do believe we will see diminished gains in the next one. I believe that this cycle will be the most explosive we have had so far in terms of returns. Bitcoin to smash past 100k and consequently the rest of the altcoin market reaching new highs. It seems to be aligning macroeconomically as well, with interest rates potentially getting cut this year and inflation easing off since the effects of Covid and the Russia-Ukrainian war, amongst other events. I believe the cycle after this one will still provide very high returns, but it will be more difficult. I think less projects will be giving us the 10x plus multiples and spotting and getting in them early will require a lot more work than in the past. However, if you play this cycle right, you may not need another. But yeah, guys, that's the video wrapped up. Just something different which was on my mind. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. Also, please join my Discord. It's completely free and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.